When you're in the prime of your life, everything is easy. You can eat donuts for lunch and still have energy to burn without any downside. Of course, that's not really true, but it seemed like that when you were younger. The fact is that when we age, the nutrients we use to fuel our bodies becomes exponentially more important. Studies show that men over 40, for example, can lose up to 2% of their muscle mass without changing a thing about their diet, just through the aging process. And that is where protein comes in. Protein is the answer, and we have been told this over and over again. But why is the information so confusing and sometimes contradictory? Well, the good news is the answer to protein, what kind, how much, and when to eat it is much, much simpler than what we've been told. This video will go into the importance of protein for men of all ages and the easy and proven method to get enough of the good protein without giving yourself a headache in the process. All right, let's get into it. We've all heard the massive bodybuilder talking about eating 600 grams of protein a day or other pundits touting the miracles of soy protein or other plant-based approaches. And we all know the answer is usually somewhere in the middle, and it is. But as with all things in life, protein intake needs a bit more fine-tuning for your specific body. There is no one-size-fits-all, just as there is no single type of person. We are all different, with different goals and different starting points. That much is obvious, but a critical part of this individuality is how our bodies actually process protein. The body functions as a protein synthesis machine. We are constantly breaking down protein as we go about our day, particularly with exercise, and we are constantly building it back up with the food that we eat. We know that as we lift hard, for example, we are literally breaking down our muscles, fatiguing them to the point of failure, tearing at the muscle fibers just to build them back up with rest and nutrition. Well, that is the extreme side of things, especially as we're looking to build muscle and strength. But it is just an accelerated version of our body's natural protein synthesis process. The reason why this cycling process of protein synthesis is so important is because it allows research to calculate the exact amount of protein the human body needs and what is the best source of that protein and when you should consume it. So let's start with the question, how much do I need? Especially, how much do you need as you age? The first place for us to start is the RDA, the recommended daily allowance set by the governmental bodies. Essentially, what this recommendation suggests is the bare minimum of what the body needs. That recommendation is about 0.36 grams per pound of body weight. For a 180-pound man, that would be about 65 grams of protein in a day. To help visualize this, a perfectly grilled and mouth-watering ribeye steak would provide about 70 grams. Perfect. But we are not all 180 pounds. We all have different body fat percentages, and we all have very different lifestyles. So the RDA guide is just that, a guide. An excellent starting point to get us in the ballpark of knowing how much we need. But we have to fine tune it to ourselves, just like we do with exercise, our nutritional needs, our age, and our fitness goals. Great, we just added levels of complication to the protein question. Wrong, it's extremely simple and we know the answer already. So if your goal is to add muscle, or to finish a marathon, or to get yourself lean by losing some body fat, the answer is simply to eat more protein as a percentage of carbs. But no calculators. No, the idea is to simply add it in. As this channel advocates, replace all the junk you are eating and replace that with natural protein. Animal protein for the most part. So instead of cereal in the morning, have scrambled eggs. Add in some bacon. Grill the fish, chicken, or steaks for dinner. Use the history of humans as your guide. We have literally been eating natural protein for thousands, tens of thousands, even millions of years. We had no access to protein shakes, protein bars, or other processed forms of protein. We didn't even know or care about the macronutrients that we were eating. We only knew that when we ate meat, dairy, or fish, we got the energy, health, and longevity we needed to survive and thrive. We need to do the same. It's incredibly simple. And the fine-tuning comes from you. Are you bulking up your muscles? Well, eat a bit more. Losing weight? Eat a little bit more there, too. The key in those two cases is the amount of caloric intake and the exercise that you're doing in pursuit of those goals. We never advocate counting calories or measuring exactly what you should eat. Humans have only been doing that in the last few decades, particularly with the introduction of processed foods. Instead, use your mirror. Use your sense of vitality and energy. Use how your pants fit. 
Don't overthink things. The simple answer is protein is incredibly important, so add it into your diet, whatever you are doing. Okay, so what exactly does this added protein look like in your daily routine? Again, stick to natural food and cut out the junk. If you must read the side of a cereal box to understand exactly what's in the cereal flake, you may want to rethink eating it. If you can recognize the food, that's what you should eat. Eggs, very recognizable. Animal protein, dairy. It's incredibly intuitive, yet we are constantly bombarded with this information that makes it so confusing. But what about protein shakes and protein bars? Are they bad? We don't even have to get into that argument because if you eat a natural diet, you won't ever need them. Unlike shakes and bars, natural protein comes complete with no digestibility issues and no worry about getting our essential amino acids. None. They are the most digestible and completely nutritious. We don't need a study or anyone else telling us this is true. We know it's true. That is how each and everyone's ancestors survived and thrived to allow us to be here ourselves. One tip for thinking about protein is the absorption we just mentioned. While with natural animal-based proteins it's inherent, the plant-based or more accurately processed protein offerings have trouble because the body struggles to absorb and use the protein. This is very key regardless of age. If the protein gets to the muscle and is able to be absorbed, your body processes the protein efficiently regardless of age. This is incredibly important when we know our bodies tend to break down more protein as we do age. So the answer to maintaining our muscles or even building it as we age is dependent on our ability to absorb and use that protein. Eating natural sources of protein takes out the guesswork. We know it will be absorbed, we know it will help us maintain or build, and we know all the essential amino acids are present. We don't have to read the shake label or even know the science behind protein bars or other processed protein sources. We just skip it and move directly to chicken, fish, dairy, and meat. Finally, can you eat too much protein? The answer is, of course, yes. Just like you can drink too much water or overindulge in almost anything. But we would have to bypass all of our body's natural needs and warning signs to do it. For example, that perfectly grilled steak has a lot of good fat in it. That fat is satiating and is a natural source of energy that we need. It's what would typically give us the signals to stop eating. Same with eggs. Though they are not 100% protein, there is fat and other nutrients that would naturally keep us from overindulging. Same with fish and dairy and other sources. If we keep to the natural way of eating, it would be very difficult to force yourself to eat so much protein that your body cannot properly metabolize it and clear it out as waste. Yes, it is possible, but very unlikely. So eat naturally and listen to your body. Check your mirrors, your mood, and the fit of your pants. This will keep the stress down, the attitude positive, and the calculators in your drawer. You need protein, and probably more than you're getting now. Add it in, enjoy the taste, and look forward to the stress-free gains to come. Check out this video for more information on muscle building, and we'll see you in the next one.